Let me tell you a story. A story about removing negative feedback that frankly was unremovable. Yes, it can be done. It was a chore, but I've done it. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Polish Pete, eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. I'm also an unpaid carer for an elderly and disabled person who lives abroad. <coughs> Excuse me. Today I would like to tell you a story about how I have managed to remove this negative feedback. Feedback that seemed to be unremovable. Uh, but this stupid cow has aggravated me so much that it was a matter of principle or as we say in Poland she's, she has run over my ambition so I had to pick it up and it was an absolute chore a lot of hassle to remove it and also I was super lucky I was super lucky as well guys I need to make this short addition to the main video as there is an information that I, I have obtained when I already uh, recorded the main video. So recently eBay has announced uh, changes to the feedback removal process. Apparently there will be more human less AI, so good. Hopefully that's what's going to happen. Uh, link to the help site is in the description. It's a UK version, but I've checked US version and it's literally word, uh, word by word the same. Uh, so among the others, they will remove negative feedback. Now, if, and I quote, the buyer is raising an issue that was correctly disclosed in the listing, which is good. I hope, I hope that my case that I'm going to tell you was the straw that broke the camel's back on this one. Uh, obviously, I'm not claiming it was, I just hope it was, as this was exactly the issue that I had here. And I have been chatting with the level three support, meaning I was, the ch I was chatting with the manager of the customer support manager. So if that makes sense. So yeah, I wish she actually, I hope she actually has done her job and noticed that it was the clear cut case and I had to go through all that hassle to make it happen. And hopefully she was able to kind of include my, my case in that kind of uh, revamp of feedback removal. So yeah, back to the video guys. You may ask what's the point of all that hassle? Stupid customer has left you negative feedback. Just move on. Nobody reads feedback anymore. Guys, you need to understand that negative feedback is a contag contagious disease. Yeah, it spreads. It spreads like a wildfire. What I mean by that? Let's say you've got a customer that is not 100% happy with the item, with your customer service, with the delivery time, whatever, doesn't matter. He's not a happy bunny. And eBay keeps harassing him. Please provide feedback for your purchase. Please provide feedback for food. So after the third email, he goes to your feedback page and sees that you have 100% positive feedback ratio. So there is a chance he will end up thinking Maybe I'm weird, everybody seems to be happy, only I've got a problem. And he won't leave you negative feedback. He will leave you positive feedback with negative wording, or he will leave you neutral or something like that. Yeah? But, but as soon as he can see half a dozen negative feedback of your, on your account, yeah, suddenly his desire to give you negative feedback seems to be justified. I'm not alone. This guy is a bad seller. Clearly, I can see that. There is a half a dozen people thinking the same. 
feeling the same. Yeah, I'm not alone in this shit. So, I've got that one negative feedback that I wasn't able to remove. It is less than six months old. Or maybe slightly more than six months old, something like that. Since then, since I get it, since I got it, I already had four negative feedbacks that I had to deal with. I was able to remove them all, mostly by working with the buyer. But it took me time and effort every time I was given one. And my sales, every time when I was given one, my sales were going down, were slowing down. Yeah. Now, before that negative feedback that I wasn't able to remove, when I had 100% positive feedback ratio, I was given neg that I had to deal with maybe once in 18 months or something like that. Now, I had four in less than six months or let's say six months. Yeah, That's a massive effing difference. As soon as they can see one neg on your account, they feel justified to give you another one. This is why I will bend over backwards to remove every single one of them. Now this neck that I wasn't able to remove, it will disappear after 12 months. But it's a long period of time. I will have to fight to remove a lot of necks before that happens. Hopefully I will be able to remove them all. And then when this neck disappears, I will have 100% feedback ratio and then I will have to deal with negative feedback once in a blue moon, once in 18 months, like I used to do. So guys, before we start, I'm giving you a nice story here, so don't forget to click that like button. Uh, anytime you are listening to the story, basically. Also, I offer you free content. I'm not asking you to pay me anything, to become a member, to join my Patreon, to buy me coffee or anything like that. So if you keep coming back to this channel, please, to watch my stupid face, please click that goddamn subscribe button. Thank you in advance. Uh, yeah, there is a British comedian called Sindhu V. I, I really like her. Uh, she has a gig when she says that the only way to be happy in marriage is to keep winning the arguments with your spouse. <laughs> it is actually kind of true, to be honest. Now, my wife has a degree in psychology. So winning the argument with her is something that doesn't happen often. In fact, I've been married for 11 years and it hasn't happened yet. Maybe one day it will. But every athlete will tell you one thing. When you compete against str stronger opponent twice a week, you will get better and better and better every time because you compete against a stronger opponent. And although I have never won a fight with my wife, an argument with my wife, I'm decently good in winning argument against everyone else. And trust me guys, it doesn't matter who's right, who's wrong. Winning has nothing to do with it. If you argue, if you can argue, if you can provide argue arguments, if you can justify things, if you are persistent and stubborn, you will win, even if your position is literally ridiculously wrong. You will win because people will get tired, because people they want to, don't want to argue, because they can't figure out a good rebuttal on the spot. Yeah, so if you learn how to argue, suddenly you will be able to sort out a lot of things. Obviously, don't be a dick and don't argue with people for the sake of arguing. 
Yeah? Only argue to people when you've got something to sort out. So, I have received this unwarranted feedback. It didn't breach any feedback policy, eBay feedback policy. So I knew straight away, right off the bat, it will be a chore to get it removed. But this lady has sent me not so nice message to be diplomatic. So it started to become personal. I tried to sort it out with her. She was rude. Okay, I hate people who are rude to me when I'm trying to help. So as always, I've done what needs to be done. I've built my case. I've sent her two messages uh, offering return and all of that. I gave her two days after each message to answer me. Uh, she did after the second one in not so polite way. Okay, that's done. Let's move on. I've sent her feedback revision request. Obviously, I knew she's not going to do that, but you have to do it to show eBay that you've tried. Yeah. Then I gave her five days to respond to that uh, feedback revision request. Nothing has happened. So I went and requested feedback removal. Obviously, I was denied after a couple of hours. So I went and contacted eBay. In this video, I tell you guys how to contact eBay the proper way via chat. And I was super extremely lucky and get a really nice guy. And I've described everything that I've done, that the manufacturer's size was 16, that I have provided all the measurements uh, on the photos that I have explicitly asked my customers in the description to check the measurements and compare them with their favorite piece of clothing to avoid disappointment when item has been delivered to them. I've said I, I have contacted her twice. I have offered return and I requested feedback revision. She was unresponsive. In fact, she was rude to me. And the guy said, OK, it seems like you've done everything you should or everything you could. Uh, and he told me that he will. Uh, start the process of removing feedback and feedback will be removed within 72 hours. Now, when this happens, don't pop up your champagne yet as you are still deep in the woods at this point. They will reject it anyway. So I have waited 72 hours. Obviously, feedback has not been removed. I didn't get any a message from eBay saying why or anything, nothing, basically. Uh, so I went on chat again. I gave them quotation from the first chat that explicitly said that feedback will be removed within 72 hours and I asked why it hasn't been removed. The rep said she can't do anything about it. Feedback doesn't violate eBay's policy and feedback team has rejected my claim. OK, cool. Let me talk to your supervisor, please. Now, she said, OK, I will connect you to my supervisor. Uh, as soon as I've seen that supervisor's name, I was like, <laughs> Oh my God, I had a pleasure with that lady three times already. That was the fourth time. And to be honest, she shouldn't be nowhere near the customer service. Nowhere near to customer service, not to mention being a supervisor. But I politely asked her to keep her promise and remove the feedback. She replied that she will look into it but she will not remove the feedback if it doesn't breach eBay's policy. On which occasion I have reminded her that I don't, I don't care about eBay's policies. All I care about is her keeping the promise. Yeah. She came back saying that she can't remove the feedback and literally within seconds, she said, 
if you have no other issues i will have to end this chat and you can't let her do it yeah you can't say okay thank you for nothing or anything like that no ebay rep can finish the chat until you agreed to finish the chat keep them on the line for as, as long as you can the longer they are connected the more numbers their numbers like their performance numbers turn into red yeah they have to sort out issues quick quickly anybody who has worked in the helpline of any sort will tell you that sort out shit and move on to the next customer so i've said to her that she needs to keep the promise i've told her look pull out the chat the first chat that i had this is the timestamp check what the rep said to me the, but that first rep said my feedback will be removed within 72 hours he didn't say maybe maybe not i'll try blah 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 she said he said feedback will be removed within 20, 72 hours on that occasion she, she said that i have been misguided and this guy shouldn't tell me that and she can't do anything about it if there is nothing else she has to end the chat so i've said that i demand a goodwill gesture because i don't care that i was misguided i was promised that my feedback will be removed and it hasn't been removed her under command has made a mistake it's not my fault it's her fault because it's her under command so she has to stand by the promise that he made she said that she can't do it and if there is no other issues she will have to end the chat so i asked i've asked her that i want to talk to her supervisor on which she replied that this is the highest i can go today and she can't connect me to anybody else now the keyword is but i'm not satisfied with how you have dealt with this case with my issue i'm not satisfied issue has not been resolved i demand to speak to somebody else because i have a right to expect that ebay will keep their promises and it's not my fault that she doesn't know how to train her people your mistake lady you sort out the you sort out the issue or connect me to your supervisor right off the bat she says if there is nothing more that i can help you with i will have to end this chat on which i have replied that i would like to file an official complaint on her and on the guy who has misled me she she replied that the guy will be retrained and if there is nothing else she will have to end the chat so i said there is something else lady i've just told you i want to file a complaint on you so please explain me how to do it because i don't know and guess what suddenly i can speak to her supervisor but she said but my supervisor won't be able to remove that feedback the only thing that you can talk to my supervisor is my performance and the conversation that we are having now your today's experience basically uh, i said yeah fine at this point i didn't care about feedback anymore i was pissed and i was uh, i wanted to file a complaint on her now guys this is crucial this is crucial level three level three 
first line of defense supervisor level three yeah as soon as you get to level three you are talking to a person who is super busy with drinking her coffee and watching netflix during office hours yeah this person that you go to on level three this person has an easy job and doesn't like when somebody bothers her or him he wants to get rid of you straight or she wants to get rid of you straight away as soon as she can or he can that was the lady so she so the third lady said give me a minute to check what is going on i said okay after about three minutes she com comes back to me saying that feedback has been removed can i go back to watch my netflix now and drinking my coffee yeah obviously she doesn't say that but you know that's what it was, was the problem she didn't want me to bother her any longer uh, so yeah i said thank you very much sorry for being rude things are sorted it, it, the thing is sorted feedback can't be removed i can't speak to supervisor uh, supervisor won't be able to remove feedback i can only speak to supervisor about my experience blah 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 i didn't say anything to her and she has removed that feedback within three minutes just to get rid of me now let's talk about few important things here number one emotional intelligence if you have never heard this term go and google it it's it's the topic of my wife's dissertation basically in simple words emotion emotional intelligence is the ability to stay calm calm on the outside when you literally want to punch that people in in his face yeah on the other hand it's also the ability to pretend that you are raging with anger while this is exactly what you want it to look like really you are perfectly calm but you are trying to look like you're bloody gonna turn this place upside down yeah now guys don't laugh at it it's like a separate branch of psychology there are books about it like that thick and it can be learned it can be trained it can be upscaled developed you can train yourself in it if you get a job in customer service you will get actually will get trained on it yeah number two when you finish chat with ebay rep always give yourself time and then after that time couple of hours or so go back to that chat and reread reread the script the transcript yeah and check if there is something that you can latch yourself on yeah and number three the third level of customer service is where you want to get as soon as you get to the third person there is a super high chance that everything will be sorted like flipping 100 percent efficiency i i always had it sorted when i was on the third level of customer service but you need to get to that third third person whether it's a manager or tech team or development team or whatever any other team specific to your case feedback team whoever it is yeah you have to get out of the customer service swamp and you need to go to the pros yeah to the professionals to people who don't want to deal with you really because they have an easy job yeah number four first man first manager that you complain to will always back the colleague who has made the initial decision always this is the way to reduce the complaints and that manager uh, 
backed the colleague, backed the initial decision, you will think twice before complaining again when you have a next issue. Yeah? Unless there is a clear mistake at initial stage, they will always back that initial decision. And it's, it's like that in every single corporate environment. Yeah? So, when I was working in a retail, they were always saying to me and to people on the checkouts, if you refuse to sell alcohol, don't, don't be afraid of doing that. Don't be afraid to refuse to sell alcohol to anybody because we will always back you up. If they will complain to the manager, to me, I will always back you up. Yeah, don't be afraid to refuse because we will back you up. And they were repeating that over and over and over and over again. Yeah. So this is the key. You have to understand that first manager will always back up the initial decision. Yeah. But there is always but. Always but. Yeah. You can go higher. It's hard, but it can be done. Yeah. And don't tell me, don't tell me it shouldn't be this way. It shouldn't be this way. You shouldn't have to do that. Don't tell me that you shouldn't be forced to go through all that shit. I do understand. But this is the way it goes. This is the name of the game. Either you will accept it and this, that this is how it, it, you have to play the game. And then you will have a chance to win something. Or you will keep losing. Do you like to lose? So keep doing it your way. Keep, keep mourning and doing nothing. If you want to win from time to time, you have to do this. You have to go to the third level of customer service. This is the only way how you can win. And in this case, I wasn't, I was wrong. I wasn't right. I was wrong. And still I won. I won because I had something to latch on because I had something that this first rep has told me if feedback will be removed within 72 hours. Yeah. With that being said, guys, let me wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please don't forget to click that like button on your way out. And yeah, click that subscribe button as well. Thank you. Uh, have a great day. I'll see you next time. God bless you all and bye-bye.